Hi, I'm Guide Guido Ferlani. I'm an organic leader, a life coach, an actor, a facilitator, an educator. What I love to do is to empower humans to their next natural level of evolution. To do that, I usually love very much to dismantle old stifling beliefs. You know, break through, create new paradigms. So I do that through storytelling and uh, inspiration and teaching and talking mostly about what happens in my life. That's why I decided to begin speaking and share my stories. This morning, while I was coming to the Calgary airport, something happened in the cab that made me think a lot. What happened is I had a beautiful driver which name is Sayed from Pakistan. And as I was speaking with them, I began to feel better. I began to feel happy. Usually I am happy by myself, but I was feeling happier. And we had a most, the most beautiful, beautiful conversation. Then that when I got to the airport in Calgary, where I am now broadcasting from, I had a thought. I thought, what happened? I thought, wow, say it, with this way of being, his absolute kindness, and just being himself, impacted me positively. So, today, I like to dismantle a fad. It's a new fad, it's pretty recent. It's something that is going around and about by 10 years. In some way, somewhat connected to the law of attraction movement that says, it doesn't matter what you do, it doesn't matter what they do, what you do, I can choose to be happy. I can choose to be um, delighted. Well, yeah, it may be true. I can choose to be happy. But when I am impacted by what we call the bus driving Buddha, you know, when you get to that, on that bus, and there is a Buddha driving it. When the passengers get down, they feel better, even if the Buddha didn't speak. So I thought, wait a moment. Yes, I can choose to be happy, but how much better? It is when we meet the Buddha in the shape of any one of us, the taxi driver, the bus driver, and we get off the ride, and we didn't do anything special but we feel better because of that. And so I thought, how nice it is to meet the Buddha. Now, this thought begs a question. And the question is, how do I meet more Buddhas in my life? How do I attract more of them? Think about it. Well, I think that the answer is very easy. Be one. Just be one. Choose every morning. I choose every morning to be a Buddha. I choose every morning to empower others. I choose every morning to love others, to not judge them, to accept them as they are. Maybe by mistake we become one. So, if this thought is enticing for you, just think about a moment. Thanks so much, and ciao.